Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the digital registers, the type is universal shift register. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications, soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, universal shift register, we will see first what is mean by universal shift register. A shift register which can be shift the data in only one direction is called unidirectional shift register only one direction a shift register which can be shift the data in both the direction right side as well as left side is called a bidirectional shift register right applying the same logic a shift register which can be shift the data in both direction as well as the loading it parallelly right shifting right side and left side as well as parallelly loading then it is called a universal shift register right bidirectional unidirectional means only one direction bidirectional means both the direction universal means both the direction as well as parallel loading this three operation is performed so that it is called a universal shift register the shift register is capable of performing the following operation parallel loading le left shifting right shifting right left shifting and right shifting LEF right now we'll see the description is available now we'll first we'll see the logic diagram then we'll go for this explanation now we'll see the logic diagram so here we are using the SR flip flop for constructing the universal shift register this SR flip flop normally we use the D flip flop D flip flop for uh, constructing the register for example for the D flip flop what is the nature the D input QN next to present state and QN plus next state if D equal to 0 whatever may be the present state the next state will be 0 if D equal to 1 whatever may be the present state next state will be 1 so the input what we are giving that will be reflected as a next state it will not bother about the present state so that is the advantage for register what we are data we are sending that same data will be available at the output the flip-flop input is zero means the flip-flop output will be zero flip-flop output is input is one mean output also one so that we by using this property normally we are using d flip-flop for consulting the register but here we are using the sr flip-flop the R input is directly given and S input is given with the inverted, inverted input. So, this is also normally similar to the D flip-flop. D flip-flop from SR flip-flop. Now, we will see how it will transfer the data. Parallelly, how it will load, how it will transfer the data from left side and right side. All these things we will discuss, right? Normally, we are using D. Here, we are using SR flip-flop. R input and S input is inverted, right? In order to perform the three different operations, we have the mode control. The signal M is available and logic diagram is there. Two AND gates and one NOT NOR gate is available. It is connected to all the flip-flop. Right? The two AND gate with one NOT gate set of this logic circuit is connected. In order to control the clock signal also here, we have two AND gate and one OR gate. It is used for clock right shift. This is used for clock left shift, right. Now we will see how it will be loaded. We need to see the three operation, parallel input, parallel loading, shifting, serial, serial input, shifting left side and right side, right side as well as left side, right. First you will see if m equal to 0, if m equal to 0, here it, here it will be 1, if m equal to 1, after the NOT gate becomes 0, again it becomes 1, right. So, this line will be activated. This line is logically 0, right. The upper line is activated. In this upper line, what we are connected? The uh, AND gate 2, 4, 6 and 8. These 2, 4, 6 and 8 are activated now. 1, 3, 5, 7 are deactivated because of 0. One input is 0, I mean totally it is 0. See this in 2, 4, 6, 8, we are connected the data also. A is connected, B is connected, C is connected and D is connected. So what happened? From this, the data will go to this NOR gate and it will go to the flip-flop. 
right so it is called a parallel loading right if m equal to 1 0 then 1 means called a parallel loading right the data what we are enter is goes to second uh, uh, and and gate already this and gate is connected with high level right so this output will be goes to nor gate then it will go to the flip flop then the output will be taken out right now we'll see what will happen if the data is one whether we are getting the same output if data is one what is the output if data is zero what is the output right if the data a equal to one what happened here so this already this is one this input is one and this input also one mean will get one as the output from the AND gate this one is goes to this NOR gate NOR gate what will happen one means the output will be one but because of NOR gate it is zero right one the one the NOR gate the input is one mean output will be zero so this zero will be applied here this is R is zero and S is one right R equal to zero and S equal to one what happen is S equal to 1 and R equal to 0. S equal to 1 mean set. Set mean it will reset. It will set the output. Set the output mean it is 1. Right. Set the output mean the output will be 1. Right. The underline is the second possible. Second possible uh, operation. The normal number is the first possible. Right. So this line is 1. Suppose if the A equal to 1, both due to 1 and 1, we got the AND gate output is 1. If the 1 is applied to NOR gate, the output will be 0. This 0 is applied to the R, R input of the SR flip-flop. Inverted input is applied to S, S flip-flop. So it becomes 1. R equal to 0 means S equal to 1. If S equal to 1, R equal to 0, what is the meaning? set s equal to 1 means set set means 1 reset means 0 set means 1 so will so the a equal to 1 means the same one will be available at the output of the flip flop right suppose a equal to 0 what happened this line is 1 but a equal to 0 so we'll get the 0 as the output because of and gate 1 into 0 0 if 0 is applied to the nor gate what will get we'll get 1 1 as the output this one is applied to the R. R one input of the R, R SR flip flop is R is one. The inverted input zero is applied to S, right? S equal to zero, R equal to one. R equal to one means reset. Reset means whatever may be the present state, the next state will be resetted zero, right? So we'll get the zero as the output. That is, if A equal to zero, the output is also zero, right? So, what the data we entered here that will be available at the output. This is applicable for all four flip flop. A, B, C, D, four inputs are applied to the four flip flop. Same thing will be available at the output as QA, QB, and QC. QA, QD, QC, QB, and QA. So, this is the parallel loading. It is applicable for parallel loading. Now, we will see the shift left and shift right operation. Right. If m equal to 0, this will be 1, this will be 0. So, this upper line is totally disabled. This lower line will be now enabled. Lower line where we are connected 1, 3, 5 and 7. Right. This 1, 3, 5, 7 are connected. 2, 4, 6, 8 is now disabled. Right. So here we are giving the serial input. See this, this uh, gate pulse also. Here, here what is available now 0 means 1 1 is connected here right here the signal is given the here 0 is connected so this becomes 0 so the right shift operation is performed if we give the input here then left shift operation will be performed right now 1 3 5 7 is enabled if we give the input here it is it perform the right shift operation if you give the input here it will perform the left shift operation this is the clock pulse controlling right or left right if the clock pulse is one already here also one if you if you want to press we want to perform right shift this clock pulse is given here this is one and this is one so the pulse will be given so it will perform the right shift operation if this clock pulse is given here it is zero here it is 0, so it will not perform, right? 
uh, while going to the left shift operation only it will perform this value right now see how the data is shifted right side so the data is given here that will goes to the nor gate and it will go to the input that is available at the output here this is the output so this is the output available here in order to draw the diagram the line is taken from this side that is goes to third third and gate so this is also already active from third and gate and nor gate it goes to second flip flop then out of output of second flip flop goes to fifth and gate from nor gate it goes to third flip flop output of third flip flop goes to seventh and gate through nor gate it will goes to the next fourth flip flop like that the data will be transferred similarly if we give the input here then it will it will perform the right left shift operation so we discuss right shift operation performed uh, in order to perform left shift operation the diagram you have to modify in the seventh and gate we need to connect the same what we are serial inputs it will be given here the diagram not possible to draw only right shift operation the direction and the diagrams are clearly given if you want to perform the left shift operation same thing should be repeated from this side 7 input should be given to 7 then it will pass to 5 3 and 1 so it is not possible to draw the diagram the lines will be confused so only right shift operation the flow of diagram is given here so m equal to 1 means parallel loading m equal to 0 means right shift or left shift if the clock pulse right shift is given it will perform right shift operation if the clock pulse left shift is given it will perform left shift operation we need to modify the these lines the this serial input should apply here right we need to redraw the diagram so in this video we discuss the universal shift register to perform the parallel loading shift right shift left three different operations now we'll see the description available now we'll see the description so what we discuss is available the mode control input is connected to logic one for parallel loading operation whereas it is connected to zero for serial shifting right one for parallel loading zero for serial shifting when mode control pin is co connected to ground the universal shift register act as a bi-directional register for serial left operation the input is applied to the serial input whereas which goes to the AND gate 1 as shown in the diagram whereas for the shift whereas for the shift right operation the serial input should be applied to D input so that is the that direction was not given in the diagram so shift right left operation is clearly given right so we can perform parallel loading shift left or shift right these three operations we can perform subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening